What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to go over the trailer dropped yesterday by Bungie, the Taken King launch gameplay trailer which if you missed I will link in that video description. Now there were plenty of hidden points in this video which are definitely worth going back over so that's what we're doing today but before we get into it a couple of days back Luke Smith and Mark Noseworthy were interviewed at PAX Prime by IGN and towards the end of the interview they were asked which is their favourite weapon coming with the Taken King although Mark said his was the Titan's new subclass the Hammer of Soul Luke Smith said something a little more interesting he mentioned a new exotic called the Touch of Malice which he seemed very excited and proud of now if you missed my video the other day I stated that it was confirmed to us YouTubers by Luke Smith himself while we were in Seattle playing the Taken King that the Sleeper Simulant is not the weapon that scattered in 50 parts across the Dreadnought which you have to find. I believe the weapon that scattered across the Dreadnought will be the Touch of Malice. He also confirmed in this interview that the King's Full Raid won't come on Taken King launch day which in my opinion is a good thing. I just think we have so much other things to do and I also feel we will need to prepare for this raid by obtaining new weapons and armors as well as supplies to help us through it. So I believe that dropping this raid probably a week or two after the Taken King drops is a good thing. Now moving on to the video release yesterday, now it showcased some epic things so let's just get straight into it. And remember guys if I have missed anything worth stating please do down below in that comments section. Okay, six seconds in we see a queen ship explode and who do we see floating into space? Is that Petra Venge or the way she used to look back when she was a tower vendor for that short while? Who knows, but very interesting. Moving on, at 17 seconds into the trailer we see a hunter, warlock and titan in all their glory. There are a couple of things here to talk about. The first thing is that titan helmet. Uh, we call this the astronaut helmet because that's what it looks like to be. Is this a new exotic? Who knows? But it does look pretty damn badass. Now another interesting thing here is that last word the hunter is holding. I personally believe this is an updated version and we do know that there is definitely going to be one and I believe this is our first glimpse. You can see instead of the top of the weapon being yellow, you can clearly see it's silver or grey. Now I know people will say this is nothing but the lighting, but if that's the case, why ain't the yellow on both the Warlock and Titan changed by the same lighting? Even the front of the Hunter's Cape ain't affected by the lighting, so why is the last word, if indeed this is the year one last word, which I definitely don't believe it is, and I think it's definitely the updated version. Another thing from this scene is the Hunter's armour and the colour of it, that famous Queen's armour purple, so is that what this is? We're just going to have to wait and see. Okay, moving on at 31 seconds, we see Guardians tearing shit down on that Dreadnought. But notice these very unique looking Warlock boots. They do look pretty damn badass. Does this confirm that the Warlock will finally be getting the exotic leg armors? In my opinion, it's about damn time. Whatever the case, they do look pretty damn unique. Another thing from the same scene is the Titan's class item. It's hard to spy at first. But I can confirm that this is an exotic class item where the Hammer of Soul is on show no matter what subclass you are using when you use this exotic class item. And again from the same scene we can also see the new Tex Mechanica shotgun, the Chaperone and it's on the back of the Hunter. Moving on onto the next scene at 33 seconds we again see some very interesting things. First off we can see the top of the mysterious warlock leg armors which look badass. And then that blade attached to the front of that auto rifle the warlock is holding. It reminds me a lot of the red death although clearly a different weapon. Now take a look at that hunter. Look at that damn cape. Absolutely unbelievable. This is believed to be the Hunter's exotic class item and I think it looks truly stunning. I really do. Also notice the Hunter's helmet looks absolutely badass. Could this be a new exotic? Who knows? Now there was a question I meant to ask when I was in Seattle playing Taken King and that was can you rock an exotic class item and still rock an exotic armor too. If these are both exotics, then you clearly can. Now although the hunter cape and helmet look pretty badass, 
The best thing here, which I can't confirm, but does and will make you think, is the heavy weapon the hunter is holding. Now that to me looks a lot like the Thunderlord. Now we have seen, and I have covered in previous videos, and even dedicated a video to it, we saw a weapon identical to the Thunderlord, but its damage type was solar, which I will show you guys on the screen now. But this Thunderlord the hunter is shooting from this latest trailer seems to be shooting void. When slowed down, you can see that void energy merging off the gun. So what's this all about? Well, we know for sure the Thunderlord is getting an update. I believe with this updated Thunderlord, we will be able to change its burn type. I made a video discussing this even further earlier, which I will link in the video description if you guys missed that. But it's very, very interesting, it really is. Now moving on, and again, the very next scene, we see this Warlock letting rip a Nova Bomb, but notice the helmet. Now we have seen a frontal view of this helmet in previous trailers, but here we have a view from the back. This does again look to be an exotic, maybe an updated year one exotic, maybe an updated apotheosis fail, who knows, but it sure does look pretty damn sexy. Okay, moving on to the very next scene, we see what I think could be a Titan, but I could be wrong, wearing this insane helmet. This to me screams red helmet, it really does. I mean, the shape of it is very similar to Oryx's head, or out of the shape of a knight. I mean, I could be a million miles off, but this is what I believe it could be. Also notice the sniper rifle. I believe this to be the sniper rifle mentioned in that Game Informer Taken King magazine article. They mentioned an exotic sniper rifle that blinds nearby enemies when a precision shot is hit. I have a feeling this may be that sniper rifle. Okay, moving on, at 55 seconds we see a hunter running along as they do, but on his back he has a very interesting weapon. It's hard to get a clear screenshot of it without it being blurry, but I just about managed to do so. Now I don't know what you guys think of this, but I have a slight suspicion it may be a new raid weapon. I mean I could be a million miles off here and I can't tell whether or not them spikes are a part of the weapon or a part of the hunter's armour but that would definitely clear things up. But that is it guys, now I know there's a few things I missed but that's why I have you eagle eyed badasses watching so if I have missed absolutely anything please tell me down below in that comments section. Thanks for stopping by as always, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out until next time, peace! Get it right.